If string theory requires extra spatial dimensions, it also needs to say where they are. It needs to explain why we haven't seen them. And there are a number of possible explanations. Perhaps the, the most developed one is an explanation I've been thinking about now for something like 25 years or so. And it goes like this. Dimensions actually come in two varieties. They can be big and easy to see, or small and much more difficult to detect. So an example is, imagine a garden hose. Imagine you take a garden hose and you stretch it out really long. So you've got this long horizontal line in front of you. Now from far away, that garden hose is going to look one-dimensional. You'll only be able to see its length because from far away, you won't have the visual acuity to see that there's a second dimension, a circular dimension that curls around the garden hose. Now of course in this example, it's easy to ultimately detect the circular part, you get close enough, you use a pair of binoculars or whatever, and you can recognize that the hose has two dimensions, even though you only could see one from far away. Maybe that idea applies not just to an object in the universe, but to space itself. Maybe space has three big dimensions, left, right, back, forth, and up, down, which are the analog of the horizontal extent of the garden hose. But just like the garden hose, which has a curled up circular part, Maybe our universe has curled up dimensions all around us, curled up to such a fantastically small size that we can't see them. We can't see them with the naked eye, and perhaps we can't see them even with today's most powerful equipment.